Hey guys, good evening and welcome to my exciting channel where the fun never ends with Mandela effects. Welcome to my exciting channel. So um, I have a very special guest with us. I have um, Mendel Pearl who has been with us on the show many, many times. Uh, he's also writing his book. He is uh, in the process of finishing and we're going through the editing process now. So uh, I have him here with me and we have a couple of Mandelas to share with you tonight. Hey, what's up, Mandel? You doing all right, man? Not bad. How's it going, Brian? Not bad, brother. Um, I I felt like I, I felt compelled, like we had to do this video because you're talking about the book, this book that has changed. Uh, everybody knows it as what is it you said? The Diary of Anne Frank, right? The Diary of Anne Frank, yes. Okay, and what is it now? What has it always been in this reality? Apparently, it's always been the diary of a young girl, which is nonsense. Right. Um, the diary of a young girl is nonsense here. I, I remember the diary of Anne Frank, and, and actually, this was, I guess, some kind of a, a play? Like, somebody turned it into a play? Um, if you look it up on Wikipedia... I've never heard of it either, but if you look it up on Wikipedia, yeah. it it comes up as... Uh, also known as the Diary of Anne Frank, but it's always been, you know. In no. other words, it's it's got Anne's Anne Frank's name at the top, which, by the way, has an RA. The RA is merged. Uh, the Diary of a Young Girl, huh? The R the R letters are merged. Yeah, it's based on the font type, I think, with this. But yeah, Anne ah. Frank, the Diary of a Young Girl by Anne Frank. That's weird, isn't it? About it wasn't about like a little Jewish girl or something like that, or what, what was it about? I remember I read it a yeah, long time ago. Basically, it was about Anne Frank who survived the first mm -hmm. year or so of the war, and then she was found and sent to the camp where she was pretty much put to death. Yeah, and see, it was about a, a young girl. Yeah. Yeah, the Diary of Anne Frank, but apparently it's been, let's see, okay, based on the book, based on the book, see that? Um, so apparently it was a, this is, this is a theater center for the performing arts. So this was actually a production. The Diary of Anne Frank was, was, wasn't a book, it was a, the production. That's just ridiculous. No, uh, it's like the portrait. It was a book for yeah, it was the book, The Diary of Anne Frank. I remember it. It was, you could order through Scholastic. How many of you guys out there remember Scholastic magazine that was like passed around your school and, and you, you they kind of made your parents buy a book or you felt like inferior to the rest of the class? <laughs> um, exactly. Yeah, The Diary of Anne Frank. I'm seeing it. I'm seeing residue still, but I'm not sure because the, the, some of these are like playwrights, you know what I mean? And that's true, exactly. So are you going to, well, since you're in the editing process right now, do you have space to add this one and Dorian Gray? Because I think that's another important one, the the, uh, the portrait versus the, what is it, the portrait of Dorian Gray is no longer. I can definitely mention that, yes. Yeah, Dor the portrait of Dorian Gray is the picture of Dorian Gray. Never been the portrait of Dorian Gray in this reality. It's always been the picture of Dorian Gray. That tells you that this is an effect. Many people are remembering the portrait. I know I remember it. That one stunned. Yeah, it was always the portrait. Yep. And another one we have um, is Pee Wee Herman. How many of you guys remember Pee Wee Herman? I know we talked about Paul Rubin versus Paul Rubens. It might have been, I, I have a dual memory on this one, so I can't say either way. But Pee Wee Herman, I do not remember the dash between the P and the Wee. Do you, Mendel? Are you there? Was P double? Yes. P. I spelled it was double E. Yeah, I, I thought it was P. E -E -E. Yeah, but no dash? Or was there a dash? What? No dash. Yeah, that's what I'm... 
yeah, that's that's what I remember. But now there's a dash. But there there's a scene. Everybody knows the tequila scene where he gets up on the table and he does the he does like a da 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 da, da you know tequila dance. Let me see if I can find that video. I actually saw a video that uh, Teresa sent me. The tequila dance. Uh, Pee Wee Herman. Notice how people are searching without the dash. Um, here it is right here. Without the dash. Somebody else remembering Pee Wee. Without the dash. Um, and he looks like he looks like a, like a nerdy guy like, like me and uh, so yeah, he would he would remember these things. Yeah, come on guys, this is this is crazy. Um, gosh, there's there's let me see, there's probably more. Mandel, what do you think? Is, what, 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 in your book, do you talk about what what do you think is causing the Mandela? Do you do you um do you think it's CERN or do you think it's something else? I'm definitely, I'm definitely between CERN and the D-Way quantum computer, and I actually think that those seem to be the two possibilities behind it. It could be both, it could be either or, but I don't know what else it can be. I ruled out time travel, it's still a possibility, but with everything that's going on between geographical changes and astronomical changes. I, I, I have to say it's CERN or D-Wave, or both, at the same time. I mean, I, I know I'm not, I know I'm not crazy. I've been tested. Uh, Paul Rubens, Ruben, whatever, I, I remember Paul Rubin, but I know it's Rubens. Uh, Pee Wee Herman, I remember watching, I remember way back when, when we were talking about debating the Rubin and Rubens, and I remember Pee Wee Herman did not have the dash back then. No. I'm freaking out here. And now the diary of Anne Frank. The race, you can see. Pee Wee's big adventure, here's without the dash, people are remembering. Yeah, it's it's crazy. So I'm glad you found. So how did you find the diary of Anne Frank? What? Sorry about that. How did you? Actually, a another YouTube channel that I found it. Holy crap. You, you want to know something? Yeah. What? Okay. Um, Nelson Mandela, when he was in prison, he shares his thoughts about reading the diary of Anne Frank. You want to hear that? Sure. And then two day, just two days ago, someone was on Reddit talking about, on the Mandela Effect on Reddit, about the diary of Anne Frank. We can look at that also. I read the book before. This is Nelson Mandela. But uh, reading books at that time was something totally different from reading the same book inside prison, especially that of Anne Frank, because uh, we identified with her in the situation which we were. <clears throat> and therefore, the lessons of that tragedy uh, sunk more deep, deeply in our souls and uh, also encouraged us in our situation. Because if a young girl of 13 could um, take such military action, then we could follow the same thing. A young lady of that nature to take that stand was something unique. Her life was uh, one on which young people could model their own lives 
And uh, that is what um, was striking about uh, the life of Anne Frank. What we took away from that is uh, the invincibility of the human spirit, which expresses itself in different ways, in different situations. She did it in a remarkable way, which encouraged all those who might find themselves in that situation. We have just gone through yeah, that was a pretty good inter interview with uh, Nelson Mandela. He's speaking about the diary of Anne Frank. Um, I get, apparently before before he died. Uh, I mean, but uh, but this from this video quality, it looks like something made in the eighties or nineties here, probably eighties. The quality of the video being done still very interesting. You know. <sighs> And, uh, yep, yeah, it's funny how one thing leads you to another. And then right here we see Natalie Portman talking about on the Today Show, Today Interview, um, Diary of Anne Frank. Anne Frank, the diary of a young girl. The story what? Did you guys hear that? Anne Frank, the diary of a young girl. But here in the title, uh, uh this Natural Natalie fan puts Natalie Portman today interview the diary of Anne Frank full interview. The teenage Jewish girl in hiding with her family in Nazi occupied Amsterdam is known all over the world. In 1952, the Pulitzer Prize and Tony Award winning play The Diary of Anne Frank opened on Broadway with Susan Strasberg in the title role. Well, this Thursday, Natalie Portman makes her Broadway debut playing the young girl in a new adaptation of that play. Natalie, it's great seeing you. Welcome back great to today. You. Well, I understand she looks so you young. wanted to do some kind of project concerning Anne Frank since you were about 12. Why yes. is that? Well, I read the diary when I was 12 while I was filming The Professional in France, and um, yeah. I just, I became so connected to the material, and it's it's very close to my own family history because a lot of, a lot of my family was killed in the Holocaust, and I wow. think it's just a really important message to bring to people and keep reminding people about um, the wrongs of, you know, hatred and, and racism. Your, your dad? Yeah, it's very, very interesting how right off the bat they mention uh, Anne Frank, the diary of a young girl. So, um, are you still there? Yes, I'm here. Oh my gosh. Yeah, and, and somebody was talking about this two days ago. I don't know if you got to see that Reddit post. Already we had 48 comments. Um... Let's see, someone put here, I haven't seen anyone mention this yet. I am not 100% claiming this is definite legit change because my exposure to this is limited to reading it in school at some point. But I was struck today when I looked it up and saw the actual title of the book is The Diary of a Young Girl, which I have never, ever seen or heard before in my life. I have always known this as The Diary of Anne Frank. It is interesting to note, though that most times the Diary of a Young Girl is mentioned, it, it is also brought up that is also known as the Diary of Anne Frank. Anyone want to weigh in on this one? And this is the one I, that I read in school. So, and, and he says, wow. no, I, I'm, not, I'm not getting confused by the stage adaptation, so let's just nip that in the bud right now. Yeah. Uh, and so, someone actually here remembers the Diary of a Young Girl, Anne Frank, uh, this person. Uh, oh wow, if you build it, they will come residue. Yeah, so if you guys are looking for any kind of residues and stuff, I mean, by all means, jump on uh, reddit.com and you can see all these comments. Just be sure to, to, to give these guys some credit for their research. Um, yeah, Dire of a Young Girl, that's just weird. Anyway, uh, thanks for taking the time to come on and talk to me for a little bit, Mendel, and, uh, I wish you luck with the new book. We're going to try to promote it as much as possible. Um, I want to read a bit more into it and go into some of your theory and and uh, and, and just try to get you know wealth of knowledge. Um, you know because we're all in this thing together. And uh, I appreciate your hard work and dedication on the book. And uh, you know, I, I know this this thing. Uh, we we've basically been running this course now for the past two years, 
you know, hoping to find some kind of results of what, you know, the nature of the Mandela effect actually is. It's not something that you can just poke at and, and probe at and expect, uh, no. no, you have to take the time, uh, I've already done uh, like uh, like 1,100 videos, you know, 1,100 something videos. They keep deleting them on on YouTube. I swear, because either that or the numbers are dropping uh, on purpose. Um, yeah, I mean, but we've been we've been uh, knee deep in this for a while now. I'm really hoping, you know, that we kind of wake up more people, you know, by the time this is all said and done, and, and maybe uh, just maybe we'll find. You know the the root cause. I don't know, but yeah, it's it's good. It's good to pull everything together. I know you you've been working really hard on this book. How how long have you been working on it? Oh, been five years, so six months, seven months already, and I'm still still working on it. Yep. Well, keep keep us keep us posted, Mendel, and uh. You're welcome uh, to come on the show and help, and we'll help promote the book a little bit. Um, like I said, we're still in the editing phase, so I don't know if you want to wait till the editing's over or just give people an update. That's up to you. Um, but anyway, uh, thank you, kind sir, for taking your time, and uh, thank you for this. This is a beautiful find. The Diary of Anne Frank has always been. And Frank, the diary of a young girl. <laughs> anyway, guys, wow. thanks thanks for checking us out. Have a great Mandela Effect night. And God bless.